Well, I went to wash my hands after doing uh, some sorting of petals, came inside and thought, there's no hot water. That's a bit strange. Run it for a bit, no hot water. So I went outside to the tank and, oh my gosh, water everywhere. And it's making a terrible noise. So I've rung the real estate, uh, name not mentioned at this point in time, and um, was told they were sending the plumber out. The plumber rang me. Since then, the property manager person, uh, again, no name at the moment, um, uh, turned around and said, oh, the plumber said, you, you don't know how to turn the water off. I said, yeah, I know how to do, you know, can do the main water tap. But because we're in, in a like a body corporate thing, uh, the main water tap will turn the whole complex off. And she says, no, it won't, because you get a water bill. And I'm like, uh, listen to what I'm saying. We got it explained to us by a plumber that works in this complex that when that main tap gets turned off, which they have to use a wrench thing, something like that, um, which they have to use a tool anyway, um, I said, I can't do it. I said, I'm, I'm not strong enough to do it. And I've never been shown how to just turn the, you know, the gas water tank off separately. So it's something I've never been shown. Um, so she's going, no. She said, if you took, you, you've got an individual tap that's just for you. And I'm like, no, we haven't. And, and she's going, yes, well, you get a separate water. I said, yeah, I do get a separate water. But I said, but the tap is for everybody. And she's going, I said, listen, I said, you're wrong. I live here. I said, you are wrong. I said, it, I said, I went out and spoke to the bloke when he was turning it off to get him to explain it to me. So she's going, Moira, and I said, listen, and she said, oh, all right, Moira, and hung up. Oops, rude, rude. Anyway, um, so yeah, um, apparently Lawrence the plumber put in a quote and the owner doesn't like the quote. So we've got a tank that's making a racket, water everywhere, um, and it's gas. What can I say? What can I say? Listen to that noise. Oh boy, something's gone wrong badly. Look at all that. So obviously a pipe's burst somewhere and that's the hot water. Oh, it's pouring out. I'll tell you, this rental, seriously, go along when we move. So let's update on this hot water tank debacle, whatever you want to call it. I'm looking out there because I'm waiting on plumber number two. So the owners didn't want to pay the plumber that's actually come in now. They wanted to use what they called their plumber because they've had a new bathroom put into their house, which obviously we're paying for because we pay very high rent here. But that's okay. So, I say so too much. Anyway, I, first of all, I saw the plumber go past, and this is like a bit of a complex. So there's another number three down there, but it's got a different road name. So he went down there and he rang the doorbell down there because the dog barked, and I just thought, you're an idiot. So then he went off down the road. I thought, oh, there goes my plumber. But then he came back. So I opened the door and I said, you went to the wrong house. And this young lad, very young lad, said, yeah. <laughs> so, so I said, come on through, I'll show you, I'll show you the tank. <coughs> so he um, took photos of all the water running out and he went to walk away and I said, um, are you gonna turn the water off to this tank? Cause I don't know where it is. And as fast as it's going in, it's coming out. So you're going to turn the water off. And he said, do you want the water turned off? 
So I said, ah, yes, please. So he said, I'm, I'm going to go out and I'm going to give the owners a quote. Anyway, he came back in again and he said, I've spoken to the female owner. She's got to talk to her husband. He said, and it'll be about 10 minutes. So I'll go out to my van and just sit in my van. I said, OK. He then came back in after 10 minutes and he said, no, they're not going ahead with, with either of my quotes. He said, I've given them a, a couple of quotes. He said, they're not going to go ahead with either of them. Um, I said, OK. He said, so I'm going to go in. So he, he went. So I sent a text to the uh, real estate and virtually laid it on the line that this is not on, that, um, yeah, that it, you know, we need it fixed. Um, so I put it all in a text, which I've saved, you know. Um, normally I do emails, but I wanted it seen like now. She then phones me and says, you're very lucky with these owners. And I, Am I? Tell me more. She said, well, the uh, rental, Legis legislation, ooh, that's a bit, um, they don't have to fix it for 48 hours. I said, oh, really? I'll be looking that one up. Um, she said, but they're going to go ahead with the, um, the the first quote. And I said, oh, the guy that I like that comes here. She said, yeah, they're going to go ahead with him. After all that, they're going with, with the guy that comes here all the time. But they wanted to try the, the ones that they had used to put in their new bathroom. So anyway, he could have been here by now had they gone with his quote to start with. So it's now half past four in the afternoon and he hasn't arrived as yet. Um, so I'm just waiting for him, him to arrive. So um, the property manager, you know, she said, oh, yeah, you're very lucky with the owners. And I'm like... <laughs> Hmm. Um, so we're just waiting now on uh, on him to arrive. He's a lovely guy. He's a really nice. So um, and he would have been here ages ago because um, he wanted to come out around and show me how to turn it off. And when I told the property manager, she goes, "Oh, if you have him come around, um, you'll be paying for that yourself." Yeah, okay. So we. Uh, just waiting. Gosh, he must have been north of the river or something because it's ages since she said that he was coming round. So, uh, no. I am waiting. And, and I can't get on with anything. You know, I can't, I, because, well, I had washed up, because uh, my friend came round today, and I'd, I had washed up our dishes, and it was that when I realised I couldn't rinse in hot water. So they're in the second sink, ready to be rinsed with hot water. Yes, and I could boil the kettle and do it that way, but um, I can't be bothered. So just waiting. And now I also, half past four in the afternoon, I have no idea what I want for dinner. I think because I've got a bit cross and, and the property manager, she doesn't listen to what I have to say. You know, she's just a whippersnipper of a girl, no life experiences, and she just doesn't listen. You know, where I'm an old duck and teacher a thing or two but anyway um, and have and have uh, when I first met her um, I hadn't had to have a new key cut which uh, no it wasn't it was a battery I'd have a battery bought in uh, put in the beeper for the roller door and I had it done at the cobblers so I said to her oh, I have had it done in the cobblers I'm sending you uh, the receipt and uh, she said what's a cobbler Yeah, okay. Anyway, um, I'm going to keep you updated. This is going to be a long one. Okay, um, talk to you soon. Okay, an update. Um, just this second, had a text from the plumber. He is not coming till tomorrow between 9 and 10. Uh, so that is today's crap. Oh my goodness. One thing after another, really. So I've been looking out the window. Actually, I can stop doing that now. 
expecting him to turn up and uh, he's not. Now, if they'd gone with him in the first place, he would have been here at 2.30. Crazy. It's crazy. And, and we wonder why the world's the way it is, isn't it? When you get things like that. So now cold showers till tomorrow. Mmm, great. Oh well, so that is the last update for today. Bye.